You know, Albert Einstein was a genius. And you might say that his mind was filled with complexity. And yet what he said about life and complexity is somewhat surprising. Perhaps only to be obtained by someone of his level of mind. He said, I believe that a simple and unassuming manner of life is best for everyone. Best both for the body and for the mind. In the Bible in Matthew 18 verse 4, the Bible says, Whoever becomes simple and elemental again, like this child, will rank high in God's kingdom. I've thought a lot about that Bible quote. It's like when you have a closed fist. The harder you close it, the more your hand shakes, trembles. And yet, if you relax and open up, that's the only way that you can receive. And for the mind, the only way that you can receive God's wisdom, God's help, the spiritual touch. In our world, it seems that simplicity today is in short supply. Think for a moment about the complexity of your daily life and compare it with the lives of our ancestors. Certainly, you are the beneficiary of many of the technical innovations that have happened, but those innovations come at a price. I was in a restaurant the other night, and every single person in that restaurant was on their cell phone. And what was interesting there was no human communication going on. Across the table, everyone was staring down at their phones. The world is becoming highly complex, and yet, does that bring us happiness? Those things are great gifts to our lives, and yet, every once in a while, we have to set it down and look the other person in the eye and value the human being that we're across from. Or in the mirror. Unless you take firm control, my friend, of your time and your life, you may become overwhelmed by an increasing tidal wave of complexity, and it can threaten your happiness. But God understands the joys of living in a simple way with the trust and the joy of a child. And God wants you to know this way of living again. So, do yourself a favor. Why not today? Decide, today I'm going to live in a simple way. And give yourself this gift of a daily vacation. When you do you're going to return to a childlike faith in God, and you'll discover the joy and the comfort again of the simple life.